It's the Von Liebig Center for uh, Entrepreneurism and Technology Advancement, which is a mouthful. But the short version is that we really drive the commercialization uh, of, of really early stage technologies out of the Jacobs School of Engineering. So we're all about trying to catalyze the commercialization of technologies. But once or twice a year, we, we give out these awards to talented researchers. And, and the key really is, is that talented researchers can get money in many, many places for research. What they have a much harder time finding is, is unencumbered money for commercialization, meaning money that they can use to build prototypes, to do market research, to do all the things they need to do to prove that great research can also be a great product or a great company. And that's the piece that's missing and that's the piece we provide. So to make this work, you have to have obviously great presentations from researchers, but you also have to have you know, commensurately high quality reviewers, which, which are the, these are the people who sit in, listen to the presentations, help us judge the merits, effectiveness of the, of the technologies, and the people we bring in are some of the highest profile people you can imagine coming in from, in, from industry and from, uh, from the financial industry as well, who can come in and, and say, based on my experience, here's where this technology needs to go, here's what you need to do to shape it. And so when you begin to see, though, is it's less critics than collaborators, is the spirit of collaboration that really permeates everything we do and that makes it work. The center's always funded an incredibly diverse range of projects. The largest chunk of them has been in life sciences historically, which isn't surprising. We have a, a highly rated bioengineering group here at the Jacobs School of Engineering. Uh, this year was no different with an, an eclectic mix of technologies that went from everything from hopping robots to liquid shoes. It, you know, a typically eclectic mix of, of, of really interesting technologies. When you compress this liquid, the liquid would be compressed into the nanoparts and the, the liquid would shrink. And when you release the pressure, it would expand. This is very similar to what we see in a running shoe. When a runner compressed, you know, compressed the bottom, it would shrink, and you know, when um, uh, when the pressure released, it would expand uh, expand back. Yeah, liquid shoes. I mean, it's a, it's a very interesting project. With the idea being that we really need to change the way we think about the, 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 the under platform, if you will, for shoes. The thing that makes shoes shoes, the thing you stand on. And that if you make it more, more porous, more permeable, more fluid, hence the liquid idea, that you can create something that conforms better to people's feet and responds better, even in a, in a you know, high pressure athletic performance, and delivers just overall a, a much higher quality experience. It's time people really rethought how shoes work, and we're trying to do that. Pushing out early stage technologies in the private sector is usually thought of as a 10 year process. You know, it, from the time where you initially take it on until you've got some meaningful measures. So, you know, we're, we're, we're cognizant that it takes a long time. But by the same token, in five years, we've achieved, I think, some pretty remarkable results. So, we've funded over 50 early stage technologies now. We've touched more than half of the faculty members in the Jacobs School of Engineering, as well as an increasingly large network of people in medicine, biology, chemistry, and elsewhere in collaboration with researchers here. And there's now uh, 19 licenses have been signed, which is a, a significant percentage of our, of our total projects. A license is something you give once you're ready to take it out of the university. And 17 early stage companies that have come from those licenses. So you know, while it's easy to just kind of wave your arms and be soft about what it means to be successful, we're pretty hard headed about saying you gotta be able to measure the success of what we're doing. So we measure it by licenses, which I've talked about, but we also measure it by the amount of money these companies have been able to raise subsequent to leaving the center because if the private sector is not willing to pick up on something that we've created, well then we've failed. Because we, all we've done is take a piece of technology and hide it in a company that nobody cares about. We need to have other people care. And the way we prove that is by private financing of those companies. And more than $45 million has been generated in subsequent capital from those companies.